Welcome back, welcome back. And you know, glad you all could come back. Not only to hear the word, but be doers of the word. Hallelujah. Um, today, we're on Proverbs chapter 21. The Lord is in charge. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't do anything. Absolutely nothing without the Lord. Hallelujah. Anything of our own. We need the Lord. Glory be to God. And um, hallelujah. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. I hope all of you are in daily repentance, you know, crying out. I hope you're reading God's Bible. Your Bible, God's Word, hallelujah. Your Bible, God's Word, preferably the King James Version. Going down on your knee in prayer and crying out to the Father so that he hear your cries and he'll answer you. You got to cry out to him in sincerity and truth. You better be real, your heart. He knows your heart, hallelujah. I hope you're saved and you have given your life to Christ and you're striving for holiness. Because that's the only thing that matters, right? Hallelujah. And if the Father tells you something, if he's giving you something, a dream, a vision, a prophecy, a revelation, an exhortation, even a testimony, whatever he's giving you, if he tells you to say something, don't you hold back. Go ahead and say it. If not, that blood will be on your hands. You get in trouble for that. You have to say what the Father tells you to say, right? With that being said, hallelujah. Before we go into our reading, hallelujah. I love you all, and Father God loves you more. You know that. He has no respect to persons. He loves us all. He loves all his children. Hallelujah. Before we go into that, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father God, for your daily provisions. Thank you, Father God, for you being our Heavenly Father that loves us and takes care of us and protects us and provides for us. And Lord God, you love us, and we love you, my Father. Thank you for our parents that you send to love us, and our siblings as well. We love you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Proverbs chapter 21. The Lord is in charge. The Lord controls rulers, just as he determines the course of rivers. We may think we are doing the right thing. But the Lord always knows what is in our hearts. Doing what is right and fair pleases the Lord more than an offering. Evil people are proud and arrogant, but sin is the only crop they produce. If you plan and work hard, you will have plenty. If you get in a hurry, you will end up poor. Cheating to get rich is a foolish dream and no less than suicide. You destroy yourself by being cruel and violent and refusing to live right. All crooks are liars, but anyone who is innocent will do right. It's better to stay outside on the roof of the house than to live inside with a nagging wife. Evil people want to do wrong, even to their friends. An ignorant fool learns by seeing others punished. A sensible person learns by being instructed. God is always fair. He knows what the wicked do and will punish them. If you won't help the poor, don't expect to be heard when you cry out for help. A secret bribe will save you from someone's fierce anger. When justice is done, good citizens are glad and crooks are terrified. If you stop using good sense, you will find yourself in the grave. Heavy drinkers and others who live only for pleasure will lose all they have. God's people will escape, but all who are wicked will pay the price. It's better out in the desert than at home with a nagging, complaining wife. <laughs> Be sensible and store up precious treasures. Don't waste them like a fool. If you try to be kind and good, you will be blessed with life and goodness and honor. One wise person can defeat a city full of soldiers and capture their fortress. Watching what you say can save you a lot of trouble. If you are proud and conceited, everyone will say you're a snob. If you want too much and are too lazy to work, it could be fatal. But people who obey God are always generous. The Lord despises the offerings of wicked people with evil motives. If you tell lies in court, you are done for. Only a reliable witness can do the job. Wicked people bluff their way, but God's people think before they take a step. No matter how much you know or what plans you make, you can't defeat the Lord. Even if your army has horses ready for battle, the Lord will always win. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Well, God's willing tomorrow, we'll come back. Hallelujah. We're still in the book of Proverbs. We'll be on chapter 22, the value of a good reputation. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbors as yourself. That is not something up for debate or, or discussion. That is something we all must do. Please do it. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.